Hey, what's going on everybody? Scott of Gaming here. Thank you very much for joining us. As you can see, we're about to start playing a new game, uh, a game called The Council. Now, this is a... I guess the best way I can describe this is a bit like the Telltale games, you know, The Walking Dead, um, The Wolf Among Us, that sort of that sort of game. Um, but with an RPG element thrown in, so you're, you're sort of making choices on dialogue, you're looking for items as you walk around the world, um, but then there's, uh, there's sort of character development in it as well. We'll take a look and see what we mean. Uh, graphics are a bit unique. The voice acting can be a little janky at times, but you know what? I tried to play this on stream um, and had an issue with the microphone, uh, but I was enjoying it and I thought, you know what? We'll make it into a into a series. Now, this is a from what I understand, this is going to be a five part series of games. So, um, you know, the, this one is is part one. There's going to be more um, more parts released as time goes on. Um, the graphical style is a choice, I will say that, um, but I think it adds a little something to the game. Um, let's get started, shall we? Okay, settings, do we need to worry about those? No, I think we're good. New game, here we go. The council, everybody. Let me know what you think of this. Um, it, it's certainly different to what we we usually play on the channel, but here we go. Seventeen ninety two. Stop. You're not getting anywhere with this von Borschert. You know, I kind of get the same feeling, my dear Sarah. Listen. Nothing. Not a sound. No one's coming to save you. Huh. That's what you think. The Golden Order knows exactly where we are. <laughs> By the time your ridiculous secret society turns up, I'll be long gone. As for you, nothing will remain of your body. If you touch a single hair on my mother's head, I'll skin you alive. So there I am, and there's my no, mother. No, Louis. I have no intention of beating your dear mother. There are more persuasive ways of making you talk. Now, I do look a lot like David Tennant, I will admit that. You've stolen something from me that I intend to get back. Where have you hidden it? Von Borschert, you can't sell that book on the black market anymore. This is finished. We know you're planning on selling it at one of Lord Mortimer's parties. All right? Just tell us who the buyer is and we can make a deal. Okay, he's got a book. You've no well, idea of the trouble you've gotten yourselves into. Oh, but you will tell me where it's hidden. I can promise you that. Ouch. Oh, stop annoying our host, Louis. Mom. Son, didn't what happened to you in Rome teach you anything? Hmm. What happened in Rome? Just a few more minutes and my concoction will be ready. With this, your bodies will dissolve in less than four hours. You'll see. It loosens tongues in no time. Okay, that's a little scary. You know, I have to admit, Mother, the only thing you've ever taught me is that damn motto of yours. Always remain rational. I've opened the shackles. Draw him over here. I'll take care of him. Von Borchardt. Von Borchardt. Mm hmm? Listen. Let's make a deal. I'll tell you where the book is if you let my mother go free. Oh, what are you playing at? Don't worry, mother. You want to play the hero. Pity you're not in any position to do so. For the last time. Where is Alazif? Let me do this. Trust me. Okay, so we have a choice. We can either act where we try and take it into our own hands, or we can trust her. Um, now, I, interestingly, when, my, when I played this first time around, I trusted her. I'm going to go with act, um, and we'll see what happens. Oh my god, he cut my face! 
Oh no! Oh my goodness! I shot him in the in the belly. For God's sake, Louis! I told you to let me do it. Okay, Mum knows best. It turns out. Let me see. You know, I was in control of the situation, Mother. Oh, tell that to your nose. <gasps> it's because of this kind of reaction that I prefer to work alone. You ought to learn to trust me, Mother. You know, can't you be happy for once? I finally, we, finally cracked the Von Borchard case. He was just a middleman. He would have been more useful alone. Oh, alive. Mom, come on. How many times must I tell you? You must never put your life on the line for me. You're much more important than you can ever imagine. Hmm. My poor right. nose. Let's go now. <laughs> right, yes, Mother. Look at the state of me. Well, there's the intro. We've got a book. That man got killed. So last time out, interestingly, he didn't die. Um, I hit him around the head with a chair. And we said we'd come back to him, but I also didn't find out that other stuff, and I didn't get the trait of scarred. So, be interested to see how that affects the game. Lord Mortimer's Island, off the coast of England. As I was saying, some of the voice acting is a little off. Also, I've noticed that the 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 mouth movements and the the audio don't quite fit. It's a little off if you pay too much attention to it. So now I've drawn your attention to it, you'll well definitely done, do that. Brother. I'm sorry. You just had to pick up Von Burchard's trail on your own, didn't Here you? Here we go again. You ditch me in Paris with no explanation, and off you go to infiltrate one of the world-renowned receptions of this Lord Mortimer. And now he writes me to say that. You've gone missing on his Well, that's a lot island? of stairs to get Which, up there. Which, by the way, looks more like a big rock than a paradise island. The council. Here we go. The least he could do is explain to me how he managed to lose you. Look at my poor face. Case, it is time for you to stop all this, mother. It no longer suits your age. Well, I'm sure I'll find you once again, slogging through the caves beneath the island, searching for some long-lost oh, mystical oh, object that you just can't live without. I'm already hating this trip, and all I've done is think it? about it. Contrary to what one may be able to imagine, it was not the host himself who invited me. Well now, Duchess, we find ourselves both invited by Sir Hall. Well, how very amusing. Perhaps we have some common interests, Your Eminence. Is this your first time at one of Lord Mortimer's legendary parties? Oh, no. We have been friends since long ago. But as I'm doing some business with Sir Horn, the invitation came from him. Well, I simply can't wait for all the festivities to begin. I, I, and you good, I think sir. my character was just what staring straight at her me? boobs. Uh, what brings me here? Business? Lord Mortimer asked me to join him. We have some business to take care of. Oh, how mysterious. You adapt quickly, my son. You get along here like a fish in water. Would you believe that we are all here hoping to solve our personal issues? You'll see. Right. I doubt that you came here to look for your mother, your eminence. Anyway, consider yourself fortunate, young man, because there are many who dream of simply one day setting foot on this island. And only a very few ever make it. Indeed. I imagine this must be your first time here. That's right. Until now, I've never been invited by Lord Mortimer. You'll see. You won't soon forget it. Given what I've seen so far, I wish I'd been passed over. Come, Duchess. They're waiting for I us. I am grumpy. We're moving, Monsieur de Richet, if you would like to join us. I'm coming, Duchess. A cardinal? A Duchess? I wonder if all the guests here are this prestigious. If I'd known, I, I would have gone for a better suit. Ah! Oh. Are you right? What in the world? Uh. Oh, we're having a flashback. 
I think. Mother? Oh shit, your hand! What the hell? So? Okay, it's done. Did you put it in a safe place? Yes. I made sure no one was following me. Don't worry, Sarah, no one's going to find it. Are you absolutely sure? Yes, I'm sure. Right. Just one thing left to no, do. No, Mother, don't, don't! What? Have you lost your mind? There's no other way. If you, if you kill me, you won't find it. That is the point, my dear. No one must ever put their hands on it again. No. But I trusted you. No, Sarah. Don't. No. No! <gasps> Holy you shit to, balls. Sarah, but you will pay. You. Uh, Louis, are you all right? What's going on? Here, take this. I'm sorry. Keep it. Are you better? I'm delightful, I'm thanks for asking. Don't worry. Cheers. It's getting late, why don't, why don't you just go on ahead and I'll catch up with you, okay? Are you sure? Yes, I'm sorry. I'm sure, yes. Fine. Oh dear, oh dear. I definitely have to find Mother quickly. What was that all about? Am I going crazy or, or what? Okay. This can't be real. The, the Duchess arrived with me. What's happening to me, for God's sake? So I don't even remember how I got I absolutely here. absolutely need to find you, Mother. So this is this is the the actual main part of the game. We can wander around. We can we can have a look at a few things. Um, but let's let's head off this way. Let's head off towards the stairs um, or towards the Duchess. From the looks of things, she's waiting for us. And let's see what she's got to say for herself. Oh look! Oh, I think there was something Louis, I could have picked up. During the trip, I had something I wanted to ask you. But we didn't happen to run into it. We were on the same little yes, boat. Yes, Duchess. I'm not sure if you remember, but we've met before. At that time, you were of two minds as to your choice of career. Tell me, what have you been up to since? Okay, so now we get to choose our our skill tree, essentially. So we could be a diplomat, an occultist, or a detective. A diplomat shines in society, a talented speaker, avoids faux pas, and can convince those who's talking to without offending them. A occultist is a master of deception. Uh, convinced of the importance of knowledge that he has acquired, um, he can um, use others to achieve his own ends. And then a detective excels in investigation, trained to notice every detail in his surroundings, as well as in people's he questions. A hands-on man, he does not shy away from the direct approach. Uh, I went for the occultist when I played this um, earlier. And so I didn't get too far into this, so I'll let you know at what point I, I am now venturing into new grounds. Uh, but I'm tempted to go with the diplomat. Let's do it. Let's go with the diplomat. So, as a diplomat, we are granted one point in conviction and one point in manipulation, which is down here. Um, oh, I can add points to things as I go. You don't have to have points in various... You know, you don't have to have these things. You can put points into other areas. I don't know how that affects it. I don't know if, if it's as powerful. Oh, it looks like we're level one of all of these. But to get to level one, we'd need to add multiple points to other areas. So that's quite cool. So you can still take them, but it takes three points just to get to level one. Okay, so what have we got? We have etiquette. Adopt the appropriate behaviour. Convince people with sheer force of your will and attitude. Uh, politics. Express your grasp of geopolitical situations. Diversion. I like the idea of a diversion. I'm not going to lie. Linguistics. So I wonder if we're better off just pumping our points into one thing. Like putting them all in there gets us up to level two. I wonder if that's the way to go. Because it doesn't look like... 
Okay, let's do that. Let's let's do that. We're going to put all of our points into one area. Conviction. We're going to try and convince people with the power of our will. Okay, let's move on. Well, I've devoted myself to the interests of France to the best of my abilities. A few years ago, I had a brush with some of your fellow countrymen. Counter-revolutionaries, I'd imagine. Exactly. They got away. Thanks to a little diversion I came up with to keep the sans culottes away. Believe me, they came close to adorning the walls of the catacombs of Paris. So that young French diplomat was you? The mercy you showed the agents of the Queen roused the admiration of the court. Few would have let them leave France alive. Duchess, I'm surprised that anyone still remembers. Well, they say I have the memory of two people. But please, call me Emily. Fine, Emily. Tell me, I was actually helped on that case by my mother. You wouldn't know her by any chance. Wait, Louis. We've already met. You do remember me, uh -oh. don't you? Uh, not at all, so lie to her or not at all? Let's lie. How could I forget a woman such as yourself? A woman such as me? What a sweet talker you are. Remind me of how we met. Oh, God. Uh, skills. Your skills give you a chance to access unique choices and actions. Okay, so we can... We could choose this, but chat her up, make it uh, make her lose her chain of thought. So we've got a point in this, so we can... Diversion, we can go for it. It's going to cost us one action point. As you see, bottom left-hand corner, you have a certain number of action oh, points. Let's Emily, do it. I am marked for life. I'm sure you leave your mark on every man who crosses your path. I seem Pardon? to have a problem with that eye contact. I don't know if you've noticed. With its rare blend of whimsical banality and cat-like curiosity, there's a veil of mystery around you that only adds to your charm and your curves. You would enchant any man. Hold it, Louis. You've lost me there. It's as though you have several women hidden inside what you. What the hell am I going on I about? I not share my true feelings about you. If I ever dared, I, I... No, dare not, Louis. Better that way. You go and take a deep breath, and we'll forget all about it. Whoopsie. Hey, hey, Emily, you've gone all red. Are you, are you blushing? Right, time to go to the manor. Opportunities. Your skills allow you to discover hidden details. Okay. Now, let's let's look at ellipse. I ask her a question, she answers with another. Is she playing with me? Personality. Each person you meet on the island has their own unique personality, which makes them vulnerable to certain skills and immune to others. Okay. Emily, please excuse my insisting, but you still haven't answered about my mother. Do you know her? You'll see, Louis. Everybody here knows Sarah de Richet. I mean, that was a bit awkward, I'm not going to lie. I don't know where we're going like this, Emily, but you're connected to my mother one way or another. And if I can believe my vision, you don't have much of a place in her heart. Talents. You obtain talents when carrying out certain actions. Remember to review the unlock conditions as effects. Uh, okay. So what have we got here? We've got our inventory, which we've just got a book from the list of things. Laws of Gallantry. Okay. Uh, our journal, our map, okay. So it looks like there's a few places we can go. Um, this is our character thing, which we've seen. Our talents, so... Um, it looks like we need to get skills in certain things to, to... to reach that. And then traits. Gain one point in manipulation. Have you always been charismatic? You are scarred. You gain one point in conviction. Okay. And diplomat. Okay, well that's quite interesting. Let's. Oh look, royal jelly. That restores effects two effect points. Okay, fine. Must be an incredible view from up there. Impossible to set foot on the island without being seen from three hundred meters away. Okay, so we're gonna have a wander round. We're gonna pick up what we can pick up. We're gonna have a a little look at what we see. Um, See if there's any evidence of Mother Dearest around here anyway. Uh, what do we get? Royal jelly. Apparently they, the royals just leave their jelly out everywhere they go. Um, okay. So where where are we? Is this this is where we got on uh, from the from the boat? So there's nothing in there from those things. Is this is this where we got on? Yes. 
Okay, because there was this mailbox with some letters in. So it's telling me to go up to the manor. Maybe I should just do that for now. I don't know. Let's head back. Let's see what this man's got to say for himself. Good evening, sir. Hello. May I ask your name, please? Louis Moraz de Richet. Monsieur de Richet, delighted to welcome you among us, sir. You must be Sarah de Richet's son. I must tell you we are doing our utmost to find your mother as quickly as possible. What can you tell me about the disappearance of my mother? Two weeks have passed since Sir's mother went missing. All the staff here have since been busy searching every nook and cranny of the island. But Sir may rest assured we shouldn't be long in finding her. I mean, it doesn't look like a and huge just what island. You've found so far. It would seem that Sir's mother may be hiding on the island and regularly changing her location. But no one seems to know why she would find this behavior necessary. What do you mean? On several occasions, we have found leftovers of food, a few of her things, or even traces of campsites. The reason why we are searching the wharf again is because lights were spotted there last night. Where we are now? Indeed, sir. According to our information, lights were seen in the middle of the night, sir. After verification, none of the guests seemed to have left the manor last night. We think that perhaps sir's mother was here. Did anyone see anything else? Unfortunately not, sir. Only lights were seen by servants of the manor, sir. And as I was saying, sir, all the guests were asleep, and no one seems to have noticed anything at all. We seem to have found an object that would appear to belong to sir's mother. A handkerchief. The handkerchief is embroidered with the initials S.D.R. We came to the conclusion that they are the initials of sir's mother, Sarah de Richet. I have orders to give it to Lord Mortimer as soon as I see him. I know my mother. She's not the kind to go for a midnight stroll on the wharf for nothing. I've got to find out what the hell she was doing here. Where exactly did you find the handkerchief? On the landing dock, sir. The one you arrived by. Hmm. So I can use conviction to get the handkerchief. Um. That handkerchief belongs to me. Please hand it over now. But, sir, I'll I... speak directly to your master about it. It will be a very long conversation. Uh, of course. Sir. Wow, I'm going Please for it. it. Thanks, mate. Appreciate On it. That note, I must leave you, sir. There is still much to prepare in order to welcome all the guests. We're going then. Chop, chop. He must think I'm a right arsehole. It is indeed your handkerchief, mother. You must have come here for a specific reason. I need to know what it is. Let's think. Okay, so we can look around the dock, but let's have a little look at the handkerchief. I've got two handkerchiefs that I can't look at. My mother's handkerchief that was given to me by the servant. Handkerchief that you... Given to you by Lady Hillsborough. Blood stain on it is yours. It bears her initials. Mortimer's invitation. I'm writing to express my embarrassment regarding the situation in which I find myself, as you probably know. I invite your mother, Sarah de Roche, to join me on the island several weeks ago. We had projects in common regarding your order. Her stay was going smoothly until yesterday when your mother suddenly disappeared. I do not want to overworry you, but I would like you to join me as soon as possible so we can shed some light on this mystery. Please accept, sir, the expression of my highest consideration. Okay. What have you been doing out here on this wharf? So let's have a look around. Um, let's head this way first. Now, I obviously have looked around here before, but we'll, we'll have a, a bit of a wander. We'll see if we find anything interesting as we wander around. What's this? What did I pick up? Collector coin. Nice. Okay. Some jelly. Nice. And I get the feeling jelly's going to be... Oh. Hey. There's something not right about this floorboard. It's different from the rest. Somebody replaced it recently. Looks like it's fixed pretty solidly in place. It's going to be tough to rip it out of here. Let's try. Ah, uh, shit. Uh, it's not coming up. I'll never manage it barehanded. I need something to lever it with. Okay. So we need something to, to pull that floorboard up with.
Okay, some gates. It's very much like it's locked. Never get it open barehanded. I'm the worst. Okay, so it looks like one of the skills that I could have taken from one of the other skill trees was um, lock pick. I didn't do that, so I might come and bite it in the backside. That's that floorboard. Okay. What else have we got? It's a barrel. Looks like the barrel's been broken for quite some time. Okay, fine. This chest might belong to Duchess Hillsborough. Okay. Surely they might all might. Oh, can I use this? I can use this to open the lift the plank of wood up, surely. I reckon. It's like a bar from an old gate. This miserable old bar has been broken fairly recently. The edges are still clean. And the tip is blackened. Without analysis to the contrary, I put my money on cannon powder. This might just come in handy. We'll use that to... I don't know where I'm putting that on my body, but we'll use that to... A sack of seeds. It's unopened. No one seems to have used any. What if it's unopened? That's generally the way it works, buddy. Um, right. Some rope. Apparently no one's touched for a good long time. A lantern. Nothing special. <laughs> okay, fine. What we got Let's here? See what's hidden inside. Let's look. It's too badly written. I I can't make out the address. Hmm. The address is fifty Bedford Square, London. Hmm. A letter written in an oriental language. This letter's in Japanese. It's it's addressed to a certain K Shotaro in Tokyo. Wow, I am good. Oh. The address is in Sao Paulo, Brazil. That reminds me. It's about time the order sent some envoys there. Okay, there's more letters. We should probably have a look. Probably a Dutchman. <laughs> Probably a Dutchman. Okay. This envelope is meant for the Vatican. This name sounds familiar. Pashi, Pashi, Pashi. No. Can't seem to place it. Hôtel de Cluny, Rue de Maturin, Paris. I guarantee this letter is for my mother. The address is a hideout for the Golden Order. If you write anyone over there, you have to watch out in case someone's reading your mail. But who is this Samuel Ritter Dochois? Let's see what's inside this letter. Yeah, let's. So. Dear Samuel, my stay on Lord Mortimer's Island is going wonderfully well. As I find myself in such charming company, I plan to stay a few more weeks. Would you be so kind as to send me a gift that I'd like to give to our old friend, Manuel Godoy? I would be most grateful. I have been told that he's going to join us here soon. I would like to mark the occasion. Thank you in advance. Yours devotedly, Sarah Faustine de Richer. What is your hmm. game here, Mother? What is your secrets, game here, Mother? Always more secrets. You've never talked to anyone using language like this. Something's going on here. Who is this Samuel Ritter? And for crying out loud, who is this man of Godoy that you keep bringing up? Think. Godoy, Godoy. Man of Godoy. Why does that name sound so familiar? A very good question. Oh, I know, because of politics. Ah, it's coming back to me. Godoy is the head of the Spanish government. He was appointed by King Charles IV, if I'm not mistaken. Rumor has it that he's very close to the Queen. Too close. What? Much too close. But hey, that's none of my business. He has a reputation of being upright and proud, very attached to the aristocracy, and close to Louis the Sixteenth. Well, hope we meet to talk about it soon, Mother. I don't know what you've gotten yourself into this time, but I'll bet you've got a lot to tell me. Wow. Okay, let's quickly have a little look around the rest of the dock. 
Look for more clues or go to the manor. Okay. We can do that. Can't see anything else out here. Um, let's quickly run back to that other side and then we'll uh, we'll put a cut in the video and head up to the manor next episode. But let's head... I don't think there's any way that way. Let's head this way because I'm kind of hoping I can use the pole to kind of jimmy up this floorboard maybe. Nice, good that work. Does it. Let's see what's hidden inside. There's a book and also a bag. Oh, I should probably look in the book the and the bag. Mysterium Cosmographicum. I know that book well. Mother used to read passages from it to me all the time. And judging from what I can see, it's the same one as hers. For crying out loud, what's happened to you, Mother? Manuscripts will allow you to educate yourself during the adventure. At the start of each quest, you can choose what to read to gain a permanent skill point. Nice! Let's look inside the bag. A little food, a few toiletries, a small key, and some kind of black powder. Some fruit, a piece of bacon, and some bread. The fruit's still firm. The bread's a bit stale. From the smell, this food's been here roughly... Two days? Wow, I'm if good. It's rationed, there's enough left to last two more days. An iron key completely rusted. We'll definitely take the key. No. It might be useful. I hope mother wasn't counting on it. The bottom of the bag is covered in black powder. Okay. Right. Just in case, I'll take it all. Oh, I didn't... I'll get oh, back no. to Mother when I see her. Oh, no. She's probably counting on that for food and stuff. Crying out loud. Why did you hide supplies in the middle of nowhere, Mother? I don't know what's going on here, but you obviously feel like you're in danger. Oh, God. That's going to come back to bite me in the arse, isn't it? Okay. That's definitely going to come back to bite me now. I stole her food. Oh, I'm such an idiot. Right, okay. What we got in here? Handcuffs. Nice. Yes, some jelly. This looks like a pistol case, but it's empty. I don't know if this has anything to do with you, Mother, but if it does, at least now you're armed. We saw her Just using like a gun. All oh, right. And none of it's telling me anything useful. I was going to say, how have you not put those two things together? All right. Hmm, this wharf is used as storage for a lot of barrels. Uh-huh. What have we here? It's cannon powder. It's unusable now. I don't know what the person who left this barrel like this had in mind, but it's a waste. So, let's go through this. Amber fragments. You found amber fragment each time you pick four of them. Increase your maximum effort points by one. And okay. my mother's been hiding pieces of bread between the rotten boards of the wharf in the middle of the night. I really want to put her bag back. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Sorry, mother. I'm such a letdown. I apologize. Okay, we are going to put a cut in the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Please let me know what you think of this if you want to see more of it. Um... So it's quite an intriguing little story, I will say that. Um, and we're pretty much approaching where I got to when I first played it on stream. So uh, if you're enjoying this, please let me know. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, please hit the like button, subscribe button. Follow me on Twitter at Scott.Gaming. Uh, check out the Patreon page. And uh, if you want to see anything else, then, then please just get in touch. See you again soon.